Lab Guy here. This is the uh, second episode of the Craig 6104 restoration project. The Craig 6104, for the new viewers, is a Viticon tube based television camera that was manufactured in 1965. It was made by JVC, which at the time was still called Nivico, which stands for Nippon Victor Corporation. Uh, they had struck a deal with uh, RCA, uh, with Victor, not RCA, Victor, the talking machine company, way back when. And when the companies disassociated, Nippon Victor Corporation kept the name and later became Japan Victor Corporation, or JVC as we know them. And at the time, in the 1960s, there was still some uh, hard feelings among certain uh, American veterans and uh, other defense industry workers towards the Japanese. And I'm sure there was an equal amount of animosity on the other side of the Pacific as well. So when Japan marketed projects in the United States, products in the United States, they generally adopted a westernized name for the brand. And Nivico JVC was Craig in the United States. So when you find 1960s and 1970s products with the Craig name, that's JVC. Moving right along, the Craig 6104 camera was made to use with the reel-to-reel -reel videotape recorder that was available from them in 1965. They had a couple of models. Um, I'm currently reverse engineering this monster. It's got a beautiful logo on the front, huh? And uh, like uh, most of the Viticon cameras of the time, uh, it uh, has a single video output, a couple of adjustments on the back panel. There's a couple of adjustments that are underneath when you're using the camera, but uh, mostly uh, not user adjustments. And um, the adjustments would adjust the uh, beam level in the scanning beam of the tube, the electrostatic focus voltage, to focus the beam to a fine spot and give you a nice uh, high resolution image, high resolution image, and then the voltage, uh, the DC voltage on the target of the tube, uh, which varied from tube to tube and lot to lot. And that was, uh, that's common to almost all Viticon tube cameras. You'll find beam, focus, and target, or B, F, and T pots on your camera. As this project goes on, I will explain those in greater detail. Now, in the last video, I showed that this camera was functional enough to put out a synchronizing signal and that the video amplifier was apparently working well enough to pick up noise signals from the tip of my finger held near to the target electrode of, it, of as good a Viticon as I could find. Uh, in the process of attempting to uh, get the camera going, I bought two Viticons on eBay that when they arrived, they were bad, and these, I talked to the seller and got three more from the seller, and if you look closely, you'll see these white spots in four of the tubes. The fifth tube has the shiny metal that you would expect in a good tube, although it is fringing with white. What this means is that air has gotten into these tubes. They, they've, since 1965, which is 50 years ago, at a minimum, these little guys have started to leak, which is not uncommon. So, uh, these are 20 PE-11s. These are a low-cost Viticon of simple construction. They're called triode tubes. What I've decided to do, they're, they're very hard to find. What I've decided to do is to convert the camera to use a more common type tube called a 20PE13 or its equivalent cross-reference, the 8844. These I can get in large numbers, and in fact I have several 8844s right at hand, and I have a working uh, camera that can test those tubes. The difference is that uh, the screen electrode 
in the later tubes is a separate connection. So I will have to do some minor rewiring of the uh, base connector in this camera to use those tubes. So that will also be covered as the project uh, for the restoration uh, proceeds. So the current status is that we've tested the camera to an extent and much of it is operational. And uh, I have been reverse engineering the four circuit boards inside. And so far I've completed uh, one of them in its entirety, the video board. This is the video amplifier section of the uh, camera. It also contains the A12 volt regulating circuit and a current regulating circuit for the magnetic collimating coil in the deflection yoke, uh, commonly referred to as a focus coil, but a collimating coil is more accurate. And I use a worksheet method where I scan the bottom of the board on a flatbed scanner and produce a worksheet. And then I go in by hand and draw in all of the components and uh, write their values on there. After I do that, I then uh, go into KiCad, uh, the schematic drafting portion of KiCad, a CAD program, and I enter the schematic. And so that was the video board schematic, and it's complete including the 12 volt regulator circuit for that board and the current regulator for the deflection yoke uh, focus coil or collimator coil whichever you prefer and uh, since then I've managed to uh, to map out the entire deflection board in the same manner and the next phase for that will be to enter it into the schematic editing tool. Along the way, you'll note that there are two inductors on here. This one and this, what appeared to be a transformer, but it's a, it only has one winding, so it's an inductor. And I bought one of these little gadgets. Uh, it's a component tester that you simply plug a component into, an unknown component, and it will perform a series of magical tests and tell you, it'll tell you what the part is. It's going to tell us, I don't know what that is, that's because there's nothing in there. So with that I was able to measure the inductance and resistance of the two inductors on that board. I removed, the, I unsoldered them and removed them. So. So we're well ahead on the component values for that board and the next phase will be schematic entry. And that leaves two more boards in the camera chassis itself. Um, we have the power board. Here's the power transformer and the power board which contains the rectifier diodes and large filter capacitors and a heat sink which I know it's hard to see contains some power transistors which are the regulator uh, transistors for the power supply. Then on the side here is a mystery circuit board which I haven't delved into yet to find out what exactly is going on. But It's got two pots labeled horizontal and vertical. It's very unusual. It, it strikes me as a uh, we uh, ran out of room on some other boards and we'll fit it in here kind of board. So I don't know. Once, once I map that board out, we'll know better. So that is the current state of the Craig 6104 Viticon television camera restoration project. So once again, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. I want to send my greetings to all of my subscribers. You guys rock. You guys have good taste if you're watching this channel. And... Uh, Keep following this series and the others, and I'll try to keep you informed, inspired, and uh, at least give you some history of 
television electronics that is not covered anywhere else. So until next time, Lab Guy out.